Commencements. It's good to see you again. Let me ask you first about the, the market at large, and then we'll talk about the picks, because I don't know very many people who have any conviction whatsoever about this market. It's like you cover your hands, cover your, cover your eyes with both hands and barely look through and see it every day. Do, do you have conviction? Do you, do you think this can last? Uh, well, it's not uncommon to see double-digit bear market rallies. They typically last about 30 days, 30 to 35. We're like 10 days in, and we're up 9%. On average, they're 30 to 35 days, up 15. So just because we've seen a rally does not mean that we won't retest the lows. And, uh, and I'm thinking of it more of tactically going in and buying when good opportunities arise. But I don't think that we're completely out of the woods yet. Okay, uh, now let's talk about what you are buying. Uh, Selenese, number one, why? All right, so this is blessed by Buffett, if you will. Uh, recent purchase of Warren Buffett. Uh, this is a large uh, producer of chemicals, uh, specifically engineered polymers, uh, and it's the largest producer of uh, acetyl um, uh, products uh, in the world. Uh, recently in February, uh, announced an acquisition of DuPont's Mobility and Materials Division for $11 billion in cash. It's the largest acquisition they've ever done, but it helps them broaden their end markets. Had a really good quarter and actually raised guidance, which is not something we've been seeing a lot lately. So uh, trading at eight times uh, next year's earning, which is a significant discount to its chemical uh, peers. And so I think that there's a lot of opportunity here, uh, again, because I, I do think that they're in great end markets, specifically they're in solar panels, autos, and water treatment facilities. So these are things that um, they've had some supply chain, chain disruptions, but they've been able to push 100% of the increased costs uh, to their customers. And so they've been mm. able to do well, even in this inflationary environment. Why is the tide going to turn for Disney, which is the next pick that you have? Because obviously the stock has not done well. Well, today it did well uh, well, upon today the it announcement did well, but of one their... day does not a trend make. Sure. We know that. True. Uh, well, you know, I think that there's overly negative sentiment with Disney right now. Parks are actually the largest driver of their earnings and their revenue. And I still think that the parks are going to continue to benefit from the pent up demand of two years of people putting off travel plans. I, for one, am planning a trip to Disney with my son in September. And I think there are a lot of people that wanted to wait until they were fully open and the children to have the full experience, the character experience. And so I continue to believe that the parks will continue to do well. They did better than expected in the last quarter. And I think that trend will continue. Uh, people are, are still traveling. And while I do think they're going to tighten the purse strings, these are the types of experiences they want their kids to be having. And so parks should continue to drive business. And Disney Plus is set to become profitable in 2025. But I do think you could have a surprise there like we uh they just announced today they had very strong uh viewership of their new obi-wan kenobi series and i think that that will continue to drive new subscribers to disney plus all right shana thank you so much i'll talk to you again soon thank you.